Welcome back to the channel everyone. You're not sick of me yet. <laughs> I'm George Ross, this is Retro Reselling. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I've got to send all this lot. I'm a day behind. I normally do it on a Monday, but I was really busy. Anyway, got to drop them off. And then today, because obviously I've done hardly any sourcing on Sunday and Saturday, we're gonna do a bit of sourcing, but this time the out of town charity shops. Also there's a auction viewing day. First of all, drop these off, pop in the auction, see if there's anything for tomorrow, do some bids, and then we're gonna do some charity shopping again. But like I said, not in the town centre. I'm quite lucky in Chelmsford to have quite a few dotted about here and there, coupled together. Again, take you with me, strap you in, see what we can find. If there's anything you see in the videos that I miss, hit me a comment. Obviously, take into consideration everyone's reselling business is different. For example, I don't pick up DVDs and media and stuff, even if it's like five for a pound. I think people have messaged me before. I don't mess with that. I want to concentrate on lower quantity, but more quality. So I haven't got time to be sitting there listing all day, every day. I've got a yeah, price high and keep the average selling price high as well. Luckily, it's not actually raining today. It's been absolutely awful, but it's nice and dry now. Sun's come out which is good for the first day of October. So uh, yeah, let's crack on with this. A couple for UPS. Need a receipt? I know receipt is fine. Good right. man. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. See ya. Hey. Hi. Hey. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, see you later. Okay, so parcels dropped off. First stop, we're at the auction. I'm not expecting much. Haven't bought anything from here for a while. In fact, tell a lie. I bought a couple of things the other time I was here, a few weeks ago. Bought a couple of things and actually I've sold one of them already. I think it was a new in box vintage uh, Disney telephone. I'll put the picture here of it nice sale I think it cost me like 20 pounds or 20 pound odds uh, with commission so it's gone for over a hundred so that was an awesome score uh, I have briefly looked through the catalog I didn't see much that tickled my fancy but I always come in person because you never know I might have scanned through something so got the old pen just in case I leave any bids I'll take you with me yeah hopefully you find it interesting Hi.
back in the car now. A few interesting bits, but nothing really for me. I've left one bid on a B&O sound system. I doubt I'll get it because things like that like go for like near what they're worth after commission anyway. So, but I put 40 quid down, see if I win it, but I'm not really too fussed if I don't because I don't really trust this place too much with electronics. They don't get it tested or anything. They just get a simple pack test and then put up for sale. But yeah, 40 pound, that's all I'm willing to risk if I do win it. There's also a very, very, very cool 1985, I think it is, VW Polo, which I'm really tempted <laughs> to bid on. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm very tempted. I'll speak to the wife. It could be my tat wagon. That would be cool. <laughs> right, let's get charity shopping. First two charity shops outside of town. We have a really, really small, like, sort of old school charity shop, like, run by sort of elderly women. The stuff's really cheap, but it's very, very hit and miss if you do find anything. But it's a really nice charity shop. And the second one is a furniture shop. I don't think it's a, actually a charity shop. It's a community shop, but it's a furniture shop. I do pick up a couple of bits here and there, sort of nester tables, the odd electrical, like mini hoovers and um, VHS players, etc. So there's the first two. Let's get in there. I just get that one, please. Yes. And that this person's coming back. Four pounds, please. There's five. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks for that. Go. Cheers. Thanks. See ya. So nice and quick in and out, only took me sort of 5-10 minutes in both shops. Picked up something, that little shop I was saying, that is quite cheap. Let's put their prices up a little bit, I had to pay £4 for this. But still quite a cool item. Not quite vintage, but an old uh, England cricket uh, cricket shirt. Made by Admiral, who I didn't know made clothes. It's got Fodavone uh, sponsor on. Sort of when the Ashes were won, uh, the famous or the infamous Ashes that we see in every charity shop. It's around that time period which is obviously a popular period for England cricket. Four pound into sort of 20, 25 pound. So a good little pick up to start the day. And yeah, hopefully we'll find a bit more. Okay, we're at the next one. We're at my local Asda, which has a Bernardo's donation center. Once upon a time when I started, about three or four years ago, every single item of clothing was 99p, no matter what it was. Then it rose to sort of one pound fifty, one ninety nine. But now over the past year, it thinks it's a boutique and every single item is individually priced up and like proper priced up. I think they did have like Dr. Martin boots in that like 50 quid each. They were worth about 40, 50 on eBay. They've had designer stuff in, I think it was like 80 pound coat, which is worth 100 on 90 on eBay. Obviously if they're making that money for the charities, then that's fine, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for stuff we can make a bit of a uh, dollar on. Are you at home? 
Hello. Um, Jeff's just rung me and he's going to come and pick up the um, steamer. Okay. So we're just checking your hand. That was an interesting one. Got two sort of rarer items. One of them's quite rare and the bolo. New bolo that I didn't know about. As I said before, the clothing was overpriced again. Timberland boots for 20. There was a coat, like nothing special for 15. So yeah, that was a write-off. But it was these two nice items. They're both five pound each, so I spent a tenner. The Wiggles, they've been around since the 90s. I believe they're Australian based. Just like four guys, like kids entertainers, they have a show. Hello. Yummy, yummy. But I've had this before, and this is a half a bolo. This is worth sort of £20 plus, sort of 25 30 if it's in good working condition. I've got to test it, obviously. Hopefully they've done that already. So they seem to be quite collectible for whatever reason, or they're wanted. Um, it's just a cheap, like, plastic toy that moves and does songs. But yeah, from £5 into sort of 25 30 maybe a bit more, depending on competition at the time. That is a one to look out for. Quite cool. Second is the proper bolo, and it's this buzz. I showed him when I was like looking around, sort of picked him up. I've seen chrome ones before, but they're not normally worth that much, sort of 12, 15 pounds for a fully chrome buzz. But no, it's this one. He's got like a red head, <laughs> red details on the wings and green, which I've never seen before. I had a bit of research as I was walking around and it's the Happy Holiday Edition. A really good used working condition People have been achieving over £50 for this one. I think someone got 60 someone nearly got 70 I think they took an offer though. Obviously box, they're going for in the hundreds, they're three figures. Sadly this one has been played with a lot. He's quite beaten up. The front of his visor is missing, so I need to find another dirt cheap, like bog standard buzz. Try and fix that. Put some batteries in, hopefully it is working at least, but the chrome has sort of discoloured a little bit in places. So, sort of... At the moment it's in poor condition, but I'll try and get him up to a good, if I can, fair to good condition. Sort of shoot at 35 to 40 again, from a fiver. Quite happy with that. Quite nice to find rare, sort of, collectible things in charity shops, as it doesn't happen too often. Let's go to the next one. Next to out of town charity shops, we have a Firely Hospice and another Bernardo's, but a cheap one this time. I seem to get good, uh, bald games for FBA here. I've had some shoes here. So, should be picking up stuff in here, but let's have a look. Yeah. Oh dear. Thank you. 
So them two are disappointing. Uh, the Fairly Hospice has had a makeover since the last time I was here, which is a couple of months ago and they've sort of not got anything really nothing even slightly tempted me which is quite frustrating uh the bananos there was a nice winnie the pooh book there's a certain winnie the pooh book in a similar style that goes for a good amount on amazon this one was like 10 pound the cheapest and that was like five pounds so obviously i'm not gonna make any money after fees and sending it up so it's not going too well at the moment we've got only one more shop I do like the shop, but again, very hit and miss, but it's good for sort of shoes and uh, sportswear. I seem to get quite a bit of sportswear. Yeah, one last chance. And we finished off with a fat nothing again. Although there was some wigs, which was a bit weird, made me a bit cringy to touch them. That was, yeah. I looked them up. Uh, some can go for good money, actually. I was considering it. But then the shorter bob type, I think it's for older women because there's like grey in it. Um, they didn't seem to be going for as much, sort of 20 to 40. Uh, I can't be dealing with that. They were £10 each, but nah. I'll pass on them, I think. So altogether, I only got three items out of all these shops and all this travelling, which is very disappointing. So I spent 14 and listing wise, sort of 85, 90 pounds. So it looks alright on paper, but with all this travelling, all this time, I've been away from the house, it's really not been worth it. With charity shops, the key is to keep going and keep going, but again, it's time and effort and you could just be constantly wasting your time and so yeah, that's why you need to sort of look for better opportunities to source stock. Right, I'm off home now. I need to have some lunch. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy these videos. Obviously hit the bell for notifications when I go live or when new videos are uploaded, you get notified. So you can watch them straight away. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.